Welcome everybody to Scott Cooks. Today we'll be cooking in our Ninja Foodie one lid slash smart lid shrimp and asparagus. This is pretty much all the ingredients we're going to use. You see right out here on the counter. You probably can't see that one. So we got a little, uh, we got a large, we're going to go with large peeled, deveined, tailed off raw shrimp. We've got a little olive oil, cornstarch, lemon, of course my favorite. If you don't have this, just black pepper will do. Got a large bunch of asparagus here. And we're going to use a little chicken broth. And of course we got a lemon, but this is uh, not quite what you think we're going to do with it. So, let's get started by thawing out that shrimp. Make sure you don't set it on the counter or no craziness like that. You just want to run some cold water over it until you get it mostly thawed out. I'm going to go do that now. While we're waiting for that shrimp to thaw out, let's work on this lemon. Let me show you what we're going to do. All I want is the lemon peel. That's all I want right now. We're going to get some of that juice later. So I want some of this peel without cutting into that, that bitter flesh. Now I know there is such a thing as a lemon peeler. I actually do own one. But I couldn't find it. <laughs> so we're going to take a few strips off of it. Oh, it smells so good. So we've got some nice thin strips with no white on it. Or very little white on it. To keep that bitterness out, I'm going to take a few more strips. That'll do. And you can probably hear the water running in the background there. I'm running cold water over top of those shrimp. Gonna rotate them around a little bit until they're nice and thawed out. All right, once you got your shrimp pretty thawed out, you need to get the water off of them. Kind of dry them the best you can. I'm just gonna throw a nice clean dish towel out here. Just gonna lay them out. I want to get these as dry as we can, so we're going to wrap them in the towel and then get some paper towels involved in this as well. So just a preliminary here. I mean, we're never going to get them completely dry, but we want to get as much water off as we can. Okay, that's pretty good. Next up, we're gonna transfer these into a bowl. Make sure it's deep enough, deep enough bowl where you can um, get in your hand and, or whatever you're gonna use and mix them up. All right, this so next step, I'm gonna go pretty light on the oil here, but we're gonna put a little oil over this and mix it up. That is more than enough. That was probably about a tablespoon or less. Give it a good mix. Make sure that oil is on everything. Pretty good, it's pretty nice. Let's hit it with a little um, Himalayan pink here, or if you just got uh, pepper, pepper would work as well, just lemon and pepper basically. So, uh, but we're gonna, this has a fair amount of pepper in it, along with some other goodness. So we're just gonna mix all that up as well. Just take a visual and See if we got enough seasoning. Yeah, it's plenty. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right, so the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and put your basket into the foodie. Comes with it. Let's get those shrimp in there. Kind of level them out a little bit. Lower your lid. Go ahead and power up. And before I hit the button here, let me explain what we're trying to try to do. We are not trying to cook these shrimp right now. We're trying to brown these shrimp right now. 
I really still want them a little raw in the center. Chris, we want to get this over on air fry. I'm going to turn this up as far as we can go, which is 400. Time doesn't matter. We're just going to keep a very close eye on it and do a lot of stirring. Uh, this is not going to take long, guys. We're just trying to look for a little brown, a little brownness, and, um, and then we'll move on to the next part of the recipe. So be, get yourself prepared. Uh, when we, We'll need something to stir with, a wooden spoon, a spatula, or whatever. And you're going to need a bowl to put the uh, partially cooked shrimp back into. So just have everything standing by. Let's go. I'm going to go about two minutes. Give them a stir, two minutes. And that might be enough. I just want to start to see a little color on them. But I definitely do not want to see pink. I don't want these things cooked. So it's just a little bit of a game here. Now in the meanwhile, uh, I'm going to go rinse that out real quick. In case anyone's interested, when I said I was going to rinse this bowl out, I actually washed the bowl. We're, we really want to avoid uh, cross-contamination. All right, that's two minutes. So we're going to just take a peek inside and see where we're at. Uh, I'm not seeing any color at all, but we're going to give them a stir anyway. We want to be careful not to overcook. We really don't want to cook these things yet. Let's give that a couple more minutes. Okay, I got a little teeny bit of browning going on. We are far from cooked. Let's get you up there so you can see it. A um, little on the very ends of the shrimp are starting to turn a little brownish pinkish. So, uh, because that is the thinnest part, I think maybe one more minute, maybe two, and we can move on to the next step. And I do want to apologize at the very beginning of this. I still had this in the refrigerator. Forgot to tell you, we need garlic as well. I have minced so four cloves or uh, some minced if you got it. Keep checking, guys. Don't let it cook these shrimp. It'll ruin what we're trying to do. All right, I got a fair amount of brownness going on here. Not like crispy brown, but um, there's definitely some color change. I'm going to go ahead and pull those shrimp now. And they are far from cooked. We're not, again, we are not trying to cook these shrimp. But boy, do they smell good. So that little step was to start the cooking process, get some flavor in them from the oil and the seasoning. And once we get these out, we're going to um, step back and we're going to work on that asparagus a little bit. So we are actually done with the basket for this meal. So make sure you get your big old mega gloves out. And for now, we'll power it off and I'm going to meet you back at the cutting board. Okay, here's a little tip for you. Leave the rubber band on the asparagus at least until we do this part. And this part involves cutting off these really tough ends. And if you leave the rubber band on, this happens. They don't go flying all over the counter. Save these if you want to use them for a soup or stew or something for flavor for asparagus. They're not really good just for eating. Uh, they're super tough, but you can do something with them, I'm sure. Let's take a look now. Now go ahead and take your, your bands off. We're going to take a look at this. See what else we need to do to it. Now they're pretty good size, so I'm going to cut them up a little bit. Uh, often, depending on the recipe I'm using, I will leave these whole. But for what we're going to do here, uh, I'm just going to split them a little bit. That one's still kind of a large end. We're going to get rid of him. I want to get them tender. That's pretty good there. And we'll take these in half as well. And that should do it. In your Ninja Foodie, which the basket is now removed, add a little bit of table, about a tablespoon or a little less of olive oil. We're going to do a little simmer 
sear saute on the uh, garlic here. Got a fair amount of asparagus and shrimp. I'm gonna add a little extra. Power up, sear saute, cut the temperature down from H5 to H3 and go. And when that garlic uh, gets good and sizzly, it's gonna take about three minutes. I will move on to the next step. All right, the garlic is looking good. Don't burn your garlic, guys. Don't burn your garlic. It's looking really nice. We're gonna go ahead and get that asparagus in now. That's right, right into the oil. And remember those uh, lemon peels? In we go. Mix that up real nice, get the oil all over everything. Depending on the thickness of your asparagus, you know, I've seen some really thin, really thick, it all depends. Uh, it's going to depend on how long you're going to cook this. I'd go for uh, no more than five minutes, but you judge your own asparagus there. I'm going to get my chicken broth ready. I need two thirds of a cup or so. I have an awful lot of uh, shrimp to cook in here. So I may go to three quarter. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, let's go with three quarter just because I have a, these really big shrimp. Um, I might even need more than that, but right now we're gonna we're gonna shoot for three quarter. And the smells that lemon is adding so much flavor and odor to this. Yeah, let's let that work for a few minutes. Looking great here. Our garlic is browned up. We got some nice little crispiness on the asparagus. It's time. Let's go ahead and add that back in. And we want to make sure we get enough to, to uh, we want to actually cook this. We're going to make sure we're going to have enough liquid in there to actually cook it. And um, I'm thinking I want to just cover that with the chicken broth. And we'll cook it back down again. That's all I needed. So that was probably about a cup. And I'm going to go ahead and move the temperature up to H4. We're going to bring this to a boil with the lid down. Now I know on some of your foodies you can't do that, but you can grab the lid, the, um, the clear lid with the vent in it, and you can set it on top and you can achieve almost the same effect. Okay, we're gonna let that come to a, a pretty good boil. We're gonna cook that asparagus until however long it takes to when it's tender. And then we're gonna move on to the next step. We are gonna keep an eye on things to make sure we don't uh, evaporate all the liquid. Let's see if we got that boil going yet. Oh yeah, we do. How did I know? Because I could smell, smell asparagus from the other room. So we're gonna leave the lid down. We're gonna cook that until tender and then get our shrimp in there. In the meanwhile, I took that lemon cut it in half, squeeze the juice of half of a lemon into a bowl, and we'll garnish with that. And also, I mixed up, remember that cornstarch, right? Well, this is a, about a half a teaspoon of cornstarch with about a tablespoon of water. And it's just sitting here, all nice and mixed up. We'll be adding that to this pot in just a few minutes. Just a tiny little bit of thickener. Make sure you keep an eye on things, guys. Uh, you do not want to evaporate all of that broth because then your asparagus is just gonna burn up on you. So we're gonna get one of the thicker ones here and see where we're at with a fork. So we're getting tender. That went through pretty well. Let's find the thickest one we can find. Mm, see that, was quite a bit of resistance. So it's gonna need a few more minutes. Like I said in the earlier part of the video, everyone's asparagus is gonna be a different size, different diameter. So I uh, can't, can't really give you a time on this one. Just gotta keep checking. It's been a few more minutes. Got lots of nice broth left. Let's get some of these thicker ones out and give them a test. Went pretty much right through it. So they're obviously not gonna be as tender as, as like the skinny one, but we're very, very close. There's a really fat one there. Let me check that one. 
Oh yeah, I went right through it, right through it. Okay, I'm gonna call them ready because they still got a few more minutes with the shrimp anyway. In goes our cornstarch mixture. It's not gonna make a gravy or anything, but it's gonna um, give it a little bit of thickening. Let's give that a stir. Kind of see it made a little little roux there on the bottom. That's what it's supposed to do. Beautiful. In goes those beautiful large shrimp. Let's give everything a good mix and get the lid back down. Now we do want to finish cooking it. And because we don't have a whole lot of liquid left, I'm going to bring it back to H3 on the temperature, high three. We're going to lower the lid. And we're going to give that about three to five minutes until those shrimp are perfectly cooked. Two minutes. You could already see the pink. So these are not going to take long in this steam. And liquid. In fact, I'd say they're almost ready now. That is very close. I'm gonna give them about another minute. Put the lid down. Three minute mark. Three and a half minute mark. We want them cooked. We don't want anything raw. Looking mighty fine in there. Mighty fine. I think they may may be done. Pull one and check him. I think that shrimp is cooked. We're coming out of the coming off the heat. Go ahead and kill the power. Well, there you go, guys. Fresh from the Ninja Foodie. Shrimp and asparagus. Does that look unbelievable or what? All right, before we give that taste test, this is the juice from that lemon, half of the lemon. I'm just gonna hit it a slight little bit with the lemon juice, like so. And now let's give her a taste. Let's start with one of those shrimps. With all that flavor, spices, lemon, etc., etc., in there. Here we go. Mmm, yes. I love shrimp. I got hit right away with just the tiniest little bit of lemon flavor from the peels and the little bit I sprinkled over the top. That is amazing. I'm going to um, cut one of these little pieces of asparagus up. Oh, actually, I got a small one already here. Super tender. This is a tip. Super tender. Mm. One of my favorite things. Asparagus mixed with that shrimp. Let's try one of those really thick pieces too. Now obviously it's not going to be quite as tender, but uh, we're going to do it anyway because we cooked it, right? It's pretty much the thickest one on the plate. Oh, still, you can hear the crunch, but tender enough. No issues. That is absolutely amazing. We're gonna pair this dish up tonight with a little bit of white rice that I cooked in a rice maker separately. And that's it, everybody. I wanna thank you for watching. This is shrimp and rice cut. This is shrimp and asparagus in the Ninja Foodie One Lid. Hey, leave me some comments. Let me know if you've, what you've done with shrimp and your foodie. Um, Make sure you hit that bell for notifications, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you real soon on the next video.